Welcome back to Agile Apothecary YouTube channel. My name is Masha, I'm an Enterprise Agile Coach and here we talk about everything Agile and a little bit about Japan. And in today's video I would like to discuss with you how product owners can use ChatGPT. And I don't know about you, but for me ChatGPT has become an indispensable part of my life. I use it for so many things, copywriting, translations, getting advice, doing analysis and a lot of other functions. I use it every day. I have a lot of GPTs I have created for different kind of tasks, different functions. And today I would like to share with you a few ideas for product owners. How can product owners use ChatGPT to deliver better value, better outcomes to the customers, to optimize work and to help their teams? So let's get started. Number one, creating personas. And here I want to make sure that we are on the same page. AI is smart, AI is great, AI is not yet able to replace humans. So when we do customer research, we need to go out and we need to talk to real humans out there. We need to understand their behavior, their motivation, what are their needs, their wants, their goals. Because humans are irrational and AI tends to think in slightly more rational ways. So we need to learn about our customers from the customers. So I would not recommend you to replace this part of the job completely with AI. However, once you have collected all the information, you can just upload it into ChatGPT and get some help with creating personas. Just put all the information you have about your target customer segment and ask to create one or two or three personas following certain parameters that you have in mind. But then you can take it one step further and create a GPT. For this, you will need to have at least ChatGPT Plus subscription. So once you have it, you can go to Explore GPTs, and then click on Create and create your own GPT, which basically would be this persona. So upload this information about the persona you have into your own GPT. Create an avatar so you can also ask ChatGPT to do that for you. And then you have this persona with whom you can chat. And again, this will not replace your customer research. You will still need to go and talk to people, but you can do some quick sanity checks with this persona. You can run some ideas by then and see how they respond. So this is something for your daily work when you can't go to talk to your customers every single day. Use this persona and this will help you a lot optimizing your product ideation and creation process. Moving on, number two and probably the most obvious one, ChatGPT can become your writing assistant. So ChatGPT is great at rephrasing, summarizing, optimizing your writing or rephrasing your writing for different purposes. You can upload a long piece of text and ask to create executive summary or you can upload some bullet points, some ideas and ask ChatGPT to create a cohesive text from that. So any writing needs that you have, use ChatGPT as much as you can. But again, let's keep in mind that we don't want to completely replace humans with AI. I am a strong believer that we as humans are still able to come up with better ideas. Uh, we are still more creative. And I do believe that even if you're using ChatGPT for writing things for you, the ideas should still be coming from you. Otherwise, well, why are you needed? What is your job then? So use it to help you to optimize your workflow, but don't try to replace all the writing with ChatGPT because it won't do as great job as a human can. Well, at least this is just my opinion. I prefer to write my content by myself and then get a little help to rephrase, to improve my grammar, to improve my writing style because after all, English is not my native language. Moving on, number three, 
summarizing and analyzing data. So you can upload, as I already said, large text or large chunks of data into ChatGPT and ask it to create a summary for you. Recently, I was doing some work for my client and I needed to summarize for them Japanese taxation system for corporations in Russian. And Russian is my native language. Japanese I speak really well, but still it is quite a complicated task. And besides, I'm not very good when it comes to taxation in any language. I'm not very familiar with the vocabulary and overall the topic is quite hard for me. So I just uploaded a great article in Japanese that I found summarizing the taxation system into ChatGPT and asked to create a summary in Russian and it worked magic. Of course, I had to make sure that all the data is correct and all the translations are accurate before submitting this to client. So I'm not saying that you can completely replace human work with ChatGPT, but summarizing things to basically make your life easier is a great way to use it. Also, you can upload data, for example, when you do your customer research, when you do interviews with your customers, if you want to analyze the trends, if you want to figure out the major needs and pain points that all your customers are mentioning, you can upload all that you have into ChatGPT and ask it to create a summary for you. And always please do cross-check all the output that you get because ChatGPT, as all the AI tools, sometimes still make mistakes and sometimes they do what we call hallucinations. So they come up with things that are really not there. So make sure to check everything, but use it, use it as much as you can. Number four, creating user stories and acceptance criteria. And again, a disclaimer, I believe that all the ideas, all the creative work should come from you, from the product owner, from the team, but writing user story itself, writing acceptance criteria itself is quite a tedious task. It's not very easy, especially because of the way that we normally create our templates. So user story usually follows a template as a I want something so that something. For example, as a frequent traveler, I want to receive regular updates about my flight so that I can adjust my plans accordingly and avoid unnecessary wait at the airport. So we describe the persona, we describe the goal, we describe the value that this persona will be getting. This formula helps us a lot because then we are able to understand for whom we are building the new feature, new part of the product, what are the needs and how much value we are going to bring to this person. However, it's not very natural the way it is structured, the way it sounds. It is not how we usually speak. So when you have your user stories in mind, just upload them into ChatGPT and ask to reformat it and make them proper user stories. Same with acceptance criteria. So acceptance criteria is like an extension to our user stories, which allows us to understand better what needs to be happening in what kind of scenarios. We usually describe it based on the scenarios. For example, we use the formula given when then, for example, given I'm logged into my traveling app, when my flight is delayed or canceled, then I get a push-up notification, right? So we have the status of the user, we have the triggers, we have what is happening. So we have a detailed scenario description. Again, you can describe the scenario that you have in mind in a human language and then ask ChatGPT to reformat it into this template so that it's easier for the team so that all your user stories follow the same template. Idea number five, generate and sample data. For me, this is the most boring task that one can possibly imagine. Creating some sample data for mockups, for your prototypes, for your websites, apps, whatever you're building, for the forms that you have for your users, right? So coming up with the fake names, fake addresses, fake order details, this is really boring. And of course, you can always put in lorem ipsum, the standard filler text, 
but it does not look really good it does not look very professional anymore so ask ChatGPT to generate your data and it will be done in less than a second and you can also ask to use certain style whether you want it to be very polite very professional and neat and clean or you want to add some quirk and make it funny um, plant some easter eggs inside your sample data so ask it and it will give you the sample data in a matter of seconds number six training and education so for you as a product owner or whatever is your speciality you can use a ChatGPT to do some trainings yourself to improve your skills but also you can use it to train your customers so for yourself if you want to learn a new skill you just have to ask how to do x for example how to do custom research and you will get a lot of quite detailed information and then you can dig down and get more information how to do quantitative research how to do qualitative research what is customer persona what is customer journey how to create it get specific examples and get gradually trained acquire new skills using the information that chat gpt gives you and then you can even ask it to test your knowledge on a particular topic and see how well you retain this information how cool is that and then you can also create a dedicated GPT for your customers. This is what I have recently done for all of my courses. So for all my online courses, I have a dedicated GPT, which has a name and you access this GPT. Unfortunately, it's only possible if you have Chan GPT Plus subscription. So you can access them. They have all the information about the particular course they are assigned to and they can help you they can answer any questions about the course they can guide you to a specific lesson they can test your knowledge they can also refer uh, students to my other courses so this is a win-win where students get a free always available virtual assistant that speaks any language and as for me i get more students because they keep coming back and you can create this for your customers if you want you can also use chat gpt api and then create a specialized a chatbot which would be free for your customers but then you would need to pay for the requests that they make so you can explore this option as well your possibilities are unlimited and finally last but not least communication coach I really love this idea of creating a specific persona and practicing communication skills. For product owners, communication is extremely important. You need to talk to your customers, to your stakeholders, to your team on a daily basis. If you're outgoing, extroverted, if it comes naturally to you, good for you not everyone is wired like that so as for me i'm rather introverted i don't deal really well with certain types of personalities so i use chat a lot as a communication coach so what do you have to do just go to chat and in the new window ask it to be the kind of person that you want to practice communicating with for example, a bully or an angry boss, or maybe a customer that you want to interview who is not willing to answer questions or is giving you too much irrelevant information. So think of the kind of persona you would like to practice your communication skills with. Describe this persona to ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to pretend to be this kind of person and start the dialogue. And in the end, after you complete the dialogue, you can also ask ChatGPT to summarize your communication style, to give you some advice and to suggest how you could improve your communication style. And of course, you can come back and reread the third conversation that you just had to learn a little bit more about yourself and 
improve your communication skills. So that's all for today. I hope you got some new ideas from this video. I would love to hear from you. How do you use ChatGPT? What do you use it for at work, in private? Do you have maybe any interesting life hacks on how to use it and get more benefits from it? Please share in the comments. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And also go and check my website, my blog, my online courses. I have a few courses for beginner product owners, for agile coaches, and for anyone who wants to learn about agile. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.